Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading from June 1st to the 15th. Thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back to my channel. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. Here to give you your bi-weekly love messages and energies. Hope you guys are all doing well. You all had the most views last month or over the past month of May and the most views also for uh, the last bi-weekly reading. So y'all are going first. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, thanks for supporting my channel. And um, I just want to let you guys know I have a deal going through the end of May. If you visit my website and want to book a private reading, make sure you use the code BOGOMAY, um, which is basically buy one, get one free. So when you sign up for uh, any of my readings, you can get the second reading free. Now the second reading must be of equal or lesser value. So. Um, definitely check that out. Um, I'll probably leave that below in the description for those of you who are interested. The deal is only through the end of May, but I do periodically offer specials and stuff like that on Facebook, over on Instagram, and on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to those. Now for those of you over on Patreon, I'm doing something a little special this month. Um, we're going to be pulling a... Um, animal spirit, uh, animal totem guidance message for you at the beginning of the reading, then we'll go into the forecast. So stay tuned. <clears throat> all right, Capricorn, welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I just took a lunch break. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> for your reading today, I'm using the Fountain Tarot deck. And I'll be clarifying with the Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot Mini. And at the end of your reading, pulling a guidance message from the Psyche Tarot for the heart. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Well, Capricorn, suns, moons, risings. Capricorn's on the cusp. And also, if you have your Venus in Capricorn, what are the most important love messages and energies concerning Capricorn's love lives? Love messages only, Spirit? Capricorn need to know about their love and relationships from June 1st through the 15th, 2018. This is their bi-weekly love reading. Capricorn, June 1st through the 15th, please. Love messages. Capricorn, what do they need to know? Spirit regarding their love lives. From June 1st through the 15th. Three more shuffles here, guys. Feel free to fast forward or timestamp if you don't want to watch me shuffle, but I will always shuffle on camera until the end of time. That's just my style. All right. Feeling good about this one, Capricorn. Take a look at your current situation. What is helping or hindering you? What has put you here? What you may be thinking and feeling over the next two weeks? Your recent past or near future? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the beautiful Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, feminine energy. Uh, now, the Queen of Wands also is the watery part of fire. So she's definitely a go-getter. She's someone who's very charismatic, enjoys being in the spotlight, enjoys being in the limelight. Um, yeah, I'm seeing someone here who's just really just enjoying life. She, you know, great manager of resources, um, very charismatic, very charming. Um, I'm seeing you spending a lot of time in the sun. Maybe one of you has a little cat or an animal here that you are taking care of, but I just feel like, you know, Capricorn, you're like the life of the party here. So, uh, this looks really good. Some of you out there may be involved with the Queen of Wands, or the Queen of Wands may be a significance. Like I said, you could have fire sun in your chart or be dealing with someone like this. Um, we have the sun in reverse. Your challenge is the two of swords in reverse. What has put you here is the Two of Cups in reverse. Lots of twos. It's decision time. Thoughts and feelings. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. 
Your recent past is the Wheel of Fortune. And your near future is the Four of Wands in reverse. Lots of um, twos and fours. All right, so between there's decision making going on with regards to your stability, with regards to your foundations. Okay, uh, we've got two twos and two fours. So, um, you know, it's kind of a situation that also is progressing as well in terms of your stability. But let's take a look. So you walk into June, you have the Sun in reverse, still a good card. Um, so you could be going through some depression. It's possible. I feel like most of you are doing pretty good. You might be 95% happy, but there could still be that 5% that you could be happier. Um, I also feel like some of you are dealing with a Leo. This is a Leo card here. Uh, <clears throat> there's just a need to, there's just a few clouds in the way here. I feel like uh, otherwise most of you are pretty happy, but yeah, some of you could be going through a depression. The challenge is the two of swords in reverse. So this is telling me a decision has already been made or someone has come off the fence about something. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And I feel like this is an ongoing stalemate situation, but one in which a decision has already been made, likely to move forward in some way. Um, and that is, uh, what is a challenge for you? Maybe just dealing with the repercussions of that decision at this point. What has put you here? We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, so there could be a uh, separation. Uh, with a lover, uh, a partnership, I'm seeing a split or a breakup. Some of you are not getting along with your significant other or there have been uh, disagreements or disharmony within a partnership. This can be a business partnership or a love relationship. This is what is causing the uh, depression or the, like I said, there's a few clouds over your sunshine, you know, um, but it's not enough to keep all of the sun out. Of course, you're going to be happy some days and sad some days, but overall, it's still a beautiful card. It just says the love in your heart is still strong. It's just not as strong as it was before. Um, in the past, you have the Wheel of Fortune, so growth, expansion, and change happen for you. I also feel like whatever is going on now is fated. This is a fated event. Okay. Um, a culmination of things pulling you forward on your path. Um, a lot of things outside of your control that happened, maybe uh, without you wanting them to happen, but you realizing that they were for the best. Um, so, uh, I'm just seeing that there was growth and expansion in your life in unimaginable and unpredictable ways that led you to where you are now. So, um, realize and accept that it was for the best, whatever this was. And um, I also see a positive turn of fate for you in your past. So I could actually say that if a, a breakup did happen or a split did happen, it was likely destined to happen that way. Um, you just may be um, still feeling some indecisiveness or some confusion around that. Or maybe even a little bit of lack of clarity. In terms of your thoughts and feelings, you have the Four of Swords in reverse. So I'm getting stagnant mind. You may be feeling tired, um, you may need to rest. Um, this could be a need to take a vacation or to really withdraw from a situation. Um, I can also say that you feel like you've been sitting on the sidelines for quite some time. You've been maybe taking an extended uh, break here. Now it's time for you to reintegrate back into civilization. But I'm also just feeling here someone is really tired and someone is really feeling um, very flat in terms of their emotions, okay? 
I'll go in and clarify that in just a minute. Going into your future, you have the Four of Wands in reverse. So this can indicate um, someone has left the home for more freedom. It may indicate disruptions around the home environment or possibly feeling ungrateful for what you have. Um, this may also be a private celebration or um, a celebration here that uh, experiences some kind of disruptions. For example, um, wedding preparations are being disrupted by maybe um, an in-law or there could be also construction going on around the home. But I'm feeling like Someone here needs a break, needs time to, um, maybe you just needs, um, I just feel like there's a lot of pressure at this point and you've had it, okay? Um, you've also feel like, I feel like you've been in this limb, you've been in this time out, this limbo for long enough and, um, uh, there could be little things just getting on your nerves over the next two weeks. So there's just, um, overall, it's it's good. I just feel like you, you know, you are dealing with some things right now that are disruptive. Okay, so I want to know why the, um, the Two of Swords... Why is the Two of Swords in reverse in Capricorn's challenge position? We have the Queen of, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups. So possibly dealing with a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I do see a love message here. Perhaps uh, someone has sent you a message. We've got the Four of Wands again. Okay. This is a flirtatious energy. I'm seeing the Four of Wands as a homecoming. Okay, also as enjoying, feeling joy and stability around the home. We have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands again. So, uh, all of these are really positive. Okay, I feel like a decision has been made or you come off the fence about something. I see a positive message here, also lighthearted energy, um, joy and freedom and stability, um, seeing a great amount of happiness and love and, and emotional security. And the Queen of Wands indicates um, this can be a fire sign coming into your life, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it is, um, she's at the bottom of the deck here. So this person can be of importance to you. Um, if you have any fire sign aspects in your chart, uh, this could also be your energy coming through. But um, there does seem to be maybe a stalemate going on with this person. Let's see, why is the Four of Swords coming up in reverse for in Capricorn's reading? Why is the Four of Swords coming up in reverse? That's way too many cards, guys. But we have the Four of Pentacles and the Empress and the Hermit. So um, you may be playing your cards close to your chest here. We have the Empress card. You know, it's about health as well as taking care of just the little things and appreciating the little things. Notice how she's attracting all of these insects and creatures. You know, it's uh, living in abundance. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Hermit. Uh, this seems to be a time where you are um, pulling back your energy to some degree, taking care of yourself, and maybe if you have children, others as well. Um, it looks to be a time when you can really enjoy enjoy yourself, but you also may be spending some time alone and needing to withdraw with the Hermit card here. Right, it's possible you're thinking of a Virgo. 
Let's see, why is the Four of Wands coming up reversed in Capricorn's future? Why is the Four of Wands? Overall, this is very positive, just so you know. Um, I do see you spending a lot of time at home taking care of, you know, your family or taking care of a loved one. Why is the Four of Wands coming up reversed in Capricorn's future? Two of Wands. It seems that there is a choice here, like a fork in the road, a decision. And this might be causing some discomfort for you. Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands coming up reversed in Capricorn's reading? Four of Cups. Uh, maybe some apathy. I'm also seeing someone here who's kind of like in their own little bubble. All right, so you may be uh, protecting yourself a little bit emotionally, not exactly sure. It seems like you have a choice to make, but you're withdrawing emotionally when it comes to making this decision. Why is the Four of Wands coming up reversed? We have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It requires you to come in touch with your true feelings. Okay, um, I do feel like you're in love with someone. I do see love here, but I feel like you're just being very, you're waiting for that, uh, you're waiting for, like the Queen of Cups is so, notice how she has her hand on her heart here. You need some time to really understand how you feel, you know, to get back to that place, to get back to center. Um, some of you can be dealing with a water sign because I do see a Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming up here. Um, and I feel like this person really does love you. Uh, it feels like see someone looking at themselves in the mirror here. They, it's like you see a reflection in this person. However, I do see a water sign coming into your life uh, towards the middle of the month. And um, this person could also be, I just feel like this person is very attracted to you or very attracted to them. You may have been going through some disagreements here or even a separation, but there is a lot of love for you this month, Capricorn. It's all around you. Okay. So I do feel like you need to take some time out. Um, again, I see you being very happy, just maybe not as happy as um, not 100% there, but you're, you're definitely on the path. Okay. You're on the path. The cards are saying definitely listen to what your heart says. What does your heart say? Listen to what others are saying to you. Okay. Two cards came out. We have the darkest fears and sadness and isolation. Okay. These are swords energies, so mental energies. Looks like um, coming up for you this month. So let's take a look at the Nine of Swords, or Darkest Fears. Keywords are anxiety, doubt, resolve, and release. Capricorn, having love in your life is crucial. When a relationship does not go as planned, or when a desired relationship does not materialize, it's easy to lose yourself in worry and doubt. You may even question your own worthiness. It's easy to become obsessed with all of your darkest fears regarding love. 
Don't let your anxieties paralyze you into a total state of inaction. That's what I'm seeing up here a little bit. Dwelling on your worries only feeds them with energy, allowing them to consume you and overshadow everything else. Take a moment to determine what might be troubling your heart. The anxiety may be obvious or quite subtle. Once you identify it, decide if it is something you can resolve on your own or if you need assistance, and then take the appropriate action. If you determine that it's a worry over which you have no control, just ask spirits to help you release it. Okay. And the next message is um, sadness and isolation. So that resonates with the Three of Swords. Keywords are sorrow, disappointment, trust, and healing. Love can bring both joy and sorrow. When disappointment enters your life, it's important to acknowledge the accompanying sadness and feelings of loss. However, it is equally vital not to dwell on the loss. The temptation may be to isolate yourself from the world and cling to your grief. This card is a reminder to trust that the situation, as hard as it may be, is in your best interest. It is, it is time to gently let go of the sorrow and disappointment. Sorrow can hold you back or it can elevate you to new levels of understanding. Focusing on your sadness and loss will prevent you from attracting new positive energy around relationships. So it's time to turn your disappointment into hope for the future. Ask what lessons you can learn from the situation. Move beyond despair into healing and joyful love. Let go and move on. You have more powerful spiritual forces helping you than you could ever imagine. Capricorn, these are your guidance messages today. They're here to help guide you on your high spiritual path in love and in light. I do hope they have been helpful to you. If you resonate, please leave a comment below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and if you'd like to book a private reading, I do have availabilities this month. Check below in the description for my details. I hope to read for you soon. Take care.